Okay, so to learn, so the first thing you have to learn and learn how to interpret your dreams is that always go with what it means to you first. And I do apologize for getting this reading out so late. Um, she star 90. I may have the numbers wrong, but I'm sorry she star that I didn't get to answering you. Sooner than this, I wanted to make a video, but life happened and then two weeks went by and bam. But, um, <clears throat> excuse me. In saying that, I am, because, only because you made your comment public, I am going to use your situation as an example for this. So, answer your question too and what. Um, in doing this, in interpreting your dreams, the first thing you have to realize is that, again, your dreams are highly personal. And the meanings of those dreams are going to be personal to you. So, you should always go with what your spirit says above anything else. Now, using your dream as the example of the double moons... These are the questions you want to ask yourself, and this is with anything in the dream. What happened before? Was there any smells? Did you smell anything? Did you see anything? And was specifically with the with the moon, um, I don't remember if you said full moons. Well, so was it um, crescent moon, or was it full moons? Was it waxing? Was it waning? Um, what colors was the moon? What do those, what do those colors mean to you? And uh, uh, you said you saw two double, a double moon. What does number two mean to you? Now, the reason why you always go with your own interpretation first is because different spiritual paths and uh, different experiences will give you different answers to those questions. At one time in life, this may mean this, but now at another point in your life when you went through other experiences and gained more um, knowledge, it may mean something else. Um, example, for me, the color black means spirit. All for all of what spirit is and that, that comes from my Catholic background my biblical background my left hand path background and my um, my opry background all of it basically says out of the dark comes the light so spirit is represented by the color black to me now spirit black the color black and other uh, and other spiritual paths may represent negativity or evil or someone doing uh, basically harmful magic so they may interpret it as something different as opposed to as opposed to what I interpret it for. This is why you have to um, always go with what it means for you. Um, with with the now with the moons, the basic interpretation um, when it comes to astro astrology is your feelings, your your emotional body. Um, outside of astrology, is is considered your intuition. Uh, the full moon is considered manifestation. So. I mean, it could have been a sign of something manifesting. Um, now with the number two, because you saw two of them, again, the way that in, in my spiritual path, two means a choice. But in most spiritual paths, two means chaos and, or conflict. So you really have to figure out what the number two means for you. And this is, I'm using that as an example, but this is for everybody when you're interpreting your, um, when you're interpreting your dreams. Uh, how did you feel? How it made you feel? What did that color mean to you? What does that object mean to you? Uh, what happened before and after? Uh, you can go into pursuit to what if you remember where you was, what you was wearing, what you standing on grass, what you standing on hard ground, what you flying in the air. All these different things, and you have to combine it in order to get a full meaning of what that dream means to you. Uh, now, this is the, a lot of reasons why most people um, get upset when they get somebody else to interpret their dream and it doesn't seem specific to them, or they don't get a feel for it. Or they get upset because the dream interpreter will ask a bunch of questions. The dream interpreter, interpreter, in order to uh, get what that dream means for you, has to know what these symbols mean to you, and then they'll combine it for you and give you a meaning. But again, it still goes into you and what it what it feels towards you. So basically, because I feel like I'm ranting a little bit and reiterating the same thing over and over again. Ask yourself those questions. Who, what, where, when, how, why, what did it smell like, what it looked like, what happened before and after. Um, and always, always what it means to you. Always go with what it means to you above anybody else's interpretation. Because again, dreams are highly personal. Okay? It's, it's your personal journey on the astral realm or in a, a Pacific space in the astral realm, which is showing you either future, past, or present. So... Always go with what you feel and how spirit gave it to you. Okay? Alright, everybody stay blessed. Peace.